Hello and welcome to AutoCAD Essentials. I am Prabhakaran, Autodesk Certified Associate with you. This is our session number 7. We are in the discussion of point fixing method called Polar Method. How to fix the point using Polar Method? There is a syntax at the rate of distance less than symbol angle. This less than symbol represents that you are going to give angle in AutoCAD. Okay. So hereafter, after the less than symbol, if you give some value that will be considered as an angle. Okay, right. So at the rate, as usual, we say reference from the previous point or last point. Okay, now let us discuss about what is a distance here. Distance means distance of the line. That means line will have a two points. The gap between the two points or the distance between the two points is called distance. Then what is meant by angle? Angle means it is an absolute angle. That means as usual we are following the anti-clockwise direction. We are going to measure the angle from the right side to left side, anti-clockwise direction. That is called positive angles. So we are going to fix the point based on the distance of line and the direction of the particular line from the previous points. Okay right now let us discuss we have a horizontal line so we know the distance of the line is 40 m then what will be the angle of this line we have to find out we can draw a line from left to right or right to left then what will be the angle similar way we have a vertical line of 20 mm what is the distance we know that is 20 mm so what is the angle of that particular line we can draw from top to bottom or bottom to top. Similarly, if we have an inclined line, line distance is a distance of the line, then what is the angle? Suppose if you draw a line from left to right, what will be the angle? Angle is zero degree. Just for finding the angle, just we are going to follow the absolute angle, anti-clockwise direction. See the first line, we are going to draw a line from left to right. That means it is a direction of positive x direction that means angle is zero similarly if you draw right to left that means we are moving towards 180 degree so it is angle of 180 degree similarly if you have a vertical line we can draw from top to down or down to top if you take down to top that means the direction of lines goes towards positive 90 degree. So that is called angle of 90 degree. Similarly, this line we can say 270 degree. The another way of 270 we can specify that minus 90. If you give 90 degree, the line will go from bottom to up. If you give minus 90 degree, it will take a reverse. That means top to down. It is equal to 270 degree. Okay, right. Similarly, if you draw a line, of 30 degree if you are moving the line from bottom to top so what is the angle it is the exact angle of 30 degree so reverse of this 30 what is angle 210 degree or minus 30 degree we can give okay now let us take the same example a rectangle 40 mm 20 mm rectangle whether we are going to get the same rectangle on the same location or not we are going to find out as usual i'm going to take the first point first point is 10 comma 20 then second point i'm going to give based on the polar method what is the rule at the rate of distance distance of the point two from the point one that is the meaning so at the rate means from the point one what is the distance of point 2? It is a 40 mm. What is the angle of this line? This line, it is moves towards 0 degree. So the second point is from the point number 1 at the rate of 40 mm in the direction of 0 degree. Okay. Similarly, we are going to fix the point number 3. The distance is 20. Here we no need to worry whether we are going positive x direction or negative x direction or positive y direction, negative y direction. No need to worry because those directions we are going to specify by the angle values. Okay. Now 2 to 3, we are going above exactly vertical. That means we are moving towards 90 degree. How much? 20 mm. From where? Point number 2. Okay. Similarly, from 3 to 4. Can we say now 3 to 4, what is the distance? 40 mm. We are moving from right to left. What is the direction? We are moving towards 180 degree. So the value is from 3. That means at the rate 40 in the direction of 180 degree. Similar way from 4 to 1. 
I am moving towards down. It is a 270 degree line from top to down or otherwise I can do minus 90 degree also. Okay. So can we try this now in AutoCAD? Okay. As usual, once I open the AutoCAD program, I set the limits. I given zoom all. Okay. I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to draw the same rectangle three method, whether I will get the same rectangle in the same location, same size or not. We will check now. Let me draw the rectangle using the absolute method 10 comma 20 first point second point 50 comma 20 third point 50 comma 40 fourth point 20 comma 40 fourth point 10 comma 40 then 10 comma 20 so this is absolute method relative method i'm going to draw again i'm going to change the color as well as i'm going to change the thickness so to identify the thickness now now again line x value y value of first point is given 10 comma 20 this is right now now i'm going to use at x distance is 40 y distance is 0 similarly x is 0 y will become 20 next x is minus 40 comma 0 then x 0 comma minus 20 okay see now i got the same rectangle okay now i'm going to change the color i'm going to draw the line using polar method line first point is as usual 10 comma 20 okay now at the rate distance 40 less than 0 okay less than 0 means what after the less than symbol whatever you give that will be considered as a angle 0 degree similarly at the rate 20 mm in the direction of 90 similarly 40 mm in the direction of 180 degree then at 20 mm in the direction of 270 degrees okay right you see that three methods i used all the three methods i got the same rectangle that means what you can use any method what you like even you can use mixture of all these three okay can we try mixture of all these three so let me change the color now line i'm going to mix all these three method i'm going to draw the same rectangle okay as usual first point 10 comma 20 now i'm going to give the second point in absolute method only so 50 comma 20 absolute method now polar method at 20 in the direction of 90 okay now i'm going to use relative method at minus 40 comma 0 now i can give 10 comma 20 or i can give angle at 20 in the direction of minus 90 okay now you can see the values what you gave this is absolute method this is absolute method and i used polar method then i used relative method then i used polar method what it means so as i said before we can use any method absolute method or relative method or polar method we can mix all these three and we can use it so this is a method to fix the point on the screen so by fixing the point we are going to draw the line we are going to draw the circle we are going to draw the arc we are going to draw the different curvatures okay so we know how to fix the point on the screen so this method will going to help you hereafter in all the commands now let us discuss difference between the relative method versus polar method already we saw the relation between absolute method and relative method now we are going to discuss the relation between relative and polar method relative means what from the previous point what is x distance y distance we are going to consider whether we are going positive direction or negative direction according to that we have to specify the values in positive or negative okay instead of the positive negative i am going to use the angle values both the methods lines are straight so we did easily suppose if you have an inclined line how to find out the x distance y distance in a relative method already we discussed the similar way if you have an inclined line how to draw that particular line using polar method we are going to discuss now now let us take this triangle. It is an equilateral triangle. All sides are 50 mm. As usual, it needs three points. First point I am giving. Okay. 10, 10. What is the second point? 
I'm using polar method. From the first point to second point, distance I know, I'm going to draw the line from left to right. So easily I can specify at the rate of 50 in the direction of 0 degree. Now I have to draw a line from 2 to 3. It is not a horizontal line, it is not a vertical line, it is an inclined line. How to find out the angle? This is very important. So already we found the angle, we did a rectangle, right? How do we know all the corners are 90 degree? Listen, this rectangle is a closed object. Every closed object, it will have a 360 degree, right? So this rectangle also having 360 degree taken by four lines. So 360 divided by four, 90 degree. So the angle between each line is 90 degree. That is why we draw a rectangle using 0, 90, 180 and 270. Similarly, how to find out the angle in this triangle? It is a closed object, so it also takes 360 degree. This 360 degree taken by three lines. So the angle of each line is 120 degree in absolute angle. 120 degree means where it is 120 degree? From point 2 to 3, the direction is 120. How it is? You see here. Okay, so this is 0 degree, 30, 60, this is 90 degree from here 120. So if this is 120 degree, if you know directly we can type. So we know the distance, we know the angle, we can type at the rate of 50 in the direction of 120. So we draw a line 2 to 3. Similarly, 3 to 1, I have to draw a line. What is the angle of this one? So this angle is 120 degree we know what is the angle of this line so 120 plus 120 how much will come 240 degree similarly how did we calculate the angle here in the rectangle the first line is 0 degree so 0 plus 90 90 degree is the second line the 90 plus 90 180 degree is the third line then 180 plus 90 270 degree is the fourth line similarly in triangle here also the first line 1 to 2 0 degree so 0 plus 120 the line of 2 to 3 becomes 120 similarly 3 to 1 how much will come 120 plus 120 240 degree will come is it clear now okay this is the universal concept to find out the angle between the lines based on this now i am going to give you some exercise here you see the first object 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight sides are that that means octagon okay equilateral octagon so all sides are 50 mm so how to find out the angles you know that so using polar method you are going to draw this octagon this hexagon this pentagon okay this is your exercise you are going to try this using polar method only so this is the end of session number seven next session we are going to discuss about the circle command Okay, thank you.